So tell me about the, the benefits of, of ERCP. Uh, can you give me a little bit of details about how we can help our patients by doing this very complicated, difficult procedure? It depends, again, on each patient. You know, there's some patients that are coming in for stone disease in the biliary tree. When I see a patient like this, I tell the patient not only that we're going to be able to help you, but very likely this is going to be the end of the story regarding this problem. Of course, there's other indications that may require more than one procedure. There's other indications also that may require a repeat ERCP in a couple of years, in a couple of months, depending on what's the underlying reason why we did the procedure. So I like to take the time to explain to the patients and their family members, listen, you are here for this specific problem, and this is the course of action, the plan of action that we're going to take. So they understand. The informed consent that we spoke about, it's extremely important because expectations, it's you know, what drives all of these, uh, uh, not only the procedure, but when it comes to complications. So you know, I like to make sure that the patients understand that either we're going to be able to completely solve the problem because it's a problem that can be fixed with a procedure, or listen, you're going to need more than one procedure or you're going to need to see an oncology doctor, a cancer doctor, when we're dealing with cancer. And we may be doing palliative care by putting, for example, a metal stent in the setting of pancreatic cancer, cholangiocarcinoma, or other type of problems. Indications, expectations, and understanding you know, what we're doing for you and for your problem. Right. Well, I think specifically we can address certain things with the RCP as well, as you alluded to. So when somebody comes in with a blockage or turn yellow, yellow jaundice is one of the key features of the patients that we see. Mm -hmm. And this can be due to a blockage of the bile duct. And that blockage can be done by a stone and or a tumor. So by, by alleviating that obstruction is a clear cut benefit. There are certain metabolic features that happen at the time of obstructive jaundice that really affect the quality of our patient's life. With a tumor, if that tumor is obstructing the bile duct, we can put a stent in, and that will alleviate the blockage. Mm -hmm. That will alleviate some of their symptoms, itching, dark skin, dark urine, clay color stool, may improve their appetite as well. So in that specific situation, I think that's very helpful. When in the patient who comes in with a stone, oftentimes they're having intermittent bouts of pain, gallbladder type of pain. So those patients are quite uncomfortable. So I think a benefit of ERCP is to alleviate that symptom of pain. So if we can go in, do an ERCP, extract that stone, that patient's pain will be improved. It also reduces the risk of, of other complications down the line. So even when we're doing this procedure, we can mitigate, we can reduce the chance of them having complications from their disease. So a stone that's in place for a long period of time can cause some, some liver disease in the future something called secondary biliary cirrhosis. And if we can alleviate that problem, I think that's very important as well. And that has to be understood because there are complications of that liver disease that can affect. So by doing an intervention in an early stage, we can prevent further complications of those diseases farther down the line. We see patients a lot of times that may even have asymptomatic bile duct stones that are picked up at the time of other procedures. And the question comes, Doctor, why do I need to have this procedure done? And I think that's, those are the reasons that we need to intervene. We want to prevent further complications, including fairly significant life-threatening problems. A stone in the bile duct that's asymptomatic may lead to gallstone pancreatitis, a severe life-threatening disease, or cholangitis, a severe life-threatening infection of the bile duct. So those things need to be addressed, and those are the clear-cut benefits of, of our procedures. I completely agree. You know, I also think that it's important to talk about the pancreas, you know, because there's so many conditions related to the pancreas that, you know, ERCP will have a clear-cut benefit. And uh, unfortunately, I think that when it comes to pancreatic diseases, completely solving a problem via ERCP, it can be achieved in certain conditions. But in general, these are chronic conditions that you're not going to see the same long-term effect as you can see with ERCP from the biliary tree. So creating expectations you know, with the patient so they can understand based on your condition what's going to happen or what you may expect in the future 
it's extremely important. Right. I think a good example of that is pancreatic duct stones. Can you talk about treatment of pancreatic duct stones and what the patient's expectations would be? Yeah, because when you have pancreatic duct stones, you know, the problem is that why did a patient develop a stone? And it's not one reason why the patient develop a stone. It's frequently multiple conditions that may have led to that development of that stone that may be triggering such a bad pancreatic type of pain. And again, why did you develop the stone? Do you have problems drinking? Do you have problems smoking? Do you have a genetic condition? Do you have autoimmune pancreatitis? Do you have hypercalcemia, high triacylglycerides? You know, this long list of conditions. So some conditions can be treated, some conditions can be gotten under control. And what we see frequently is that you may remove the stones in the pancreas, and if the patient continues to have the chronic condition that led to the stone formation, very likely the stones may come back in the future. So it's a challenging problem. Correct, so it's expectations. It's we can provide some significant benefit may not be 100% cure, but it may be some improvement, at least short term, uh, and hopefully a little bit more long term.